Just wanted to do a quick video here on uh, straightening the max line tubing. I know I was worried about that when I bought this system. Didn't quite know how I was going to straighten this aluminum core tubing, but I got the three quarter inch system and it was pretty easy in the end once you got a little bit creative to figure something out here. But basically what I did, you know, it comes coiled up in a, in a box pretty tight. So if you kind of just stretch each individual coil, you know, the length, length of your arms, grab, grab two sides of, of the coil and then just stretch it out, you're going to end up, you know, with sections that, that kind of look coiled like, like this by the time you, you pull them apart. Of course, it wants to untwist as you, as you um, separate it. So I found that was the, the best way to just do it by hand and it kind of naturally uncoil rather than trying to just grab one end and have somebody at the other end and try to pull it apart because that doesn't really allow it to untwist. But anyways, so you end up with something like this when you're done pulling apart the, the heavily coiled up uh, tubing out of the box. But the thing I realized was I had some extra pieces of PVC laying around the garage, so I figured those are straight, so if I could pull it through the PVC, that should help straighten it out, and it actually ended up working pretty good. So I ended up starting with some one and a half inch uh, pipe here, and you, you can see by the time you pull it out, it's, it's pretty straight. Um, to get it even straighter, I had a piece of one and a quarter, and then the, a piece of one inch if you want to get it really straight. I wish I had a full 10 foot stick here, but I only had just like the extra four feet or so, but that still really helped. Uh, basically you can spray down the PVC tubing and also your, your max line tubing with uh, some, some soapy water and th that'll help keep the tubing pretty nice. I mean, I've, I've drug mine across the concrete lots of times and it's not marred up too much and through the tube. So anyways, it does get just a, a little beat up is the only reason I'm mentioning that if you're sensitive to that, but you'll never see it on the wall. And then the other thing too, I kind of realized is you don't want to be too stressed about getting this perfectly straight because if you got to hang any long sections on a wall or something, just the weight of the tubing itself is going to cause it to bend a little bit. So, so basically get it, get it pretty close to straight like I got here and then, uh, just start hanging it and you can then, you can then, you know, grab individual sections once it's up on the wall and kind of straighten it out. So it's actually pretty easy to work with. You're not going to get it perfectly straight, but works pretty good. Um, I'll do another video here once I get all of mine up on up on the shop and show you how it turned out.